Hey, hey please welcome back to the channel. channel. I'm just doing a short video I'm just of what videos. I'm doing today. It's a random video. Not a time to think to myself why I hit the therapy or that. A couple minutes to be blessed out here. Consume some food. And stay safe. Enjoy the video. Hey, 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 it's basically just be talking a little bit in this video. I'm gonna be talking too long. I gotta go to this uh, therapy section in a little bit. I just left the house a little bit early because it's cold. It's driving me crazy. I went to Bowtie and got a biscuit, uh, a plain biscuit here with some grape jelly. And then I got some eggs here. Fresh eggs. And I went to Mickey D's and got me a coffee with a shot of syrup, hot and fresh. Mm. I put four packs of sugar, three packs of cream, mm. and it's hot. Mickey D's had the best coffee I used to work with him. <clears throat> but anyway, I get on him just to see what you guys got going on. But thinking about my kids, I got to a time to have a piece of quiet mind right now my mind is like trying to relax mm. it's good I need a little bit of salt um ain't too much going on in my life trying to help and get everything together for me and these kids here mm. Find a bigger place to move. My big one's ready to come home. I should have grabbed me something else to drink so I got coffee. Mm. The bread thick. I'm gonna be cutting back on the YouTube channel. It's so thick. I'm gonna cut back on the YouTube channel a little bit till the views go up. Mm. When the views go up, I'll be back. But anyway. I'm living every day like in my last. I'm not going to sit up here and worry and stress about anything that's going on right now. I give it to God. I pray every day. I pray every night. I pray all the time. You know what I'm saying? I ask the Lord just to wake us up to see another day and just be here. You know what I'm saying? The blessings going to come when the blessings come. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about too much. And, um, my kids know I'm doing everything I can to fight to get them back to as well. Because I don't know why it just was so easy just to throw the babies back in the house. You know what I'm saying? I missed therapy last week with my kid's father. Um, was supposed to bring them home. He didn't bring them home. I'm too little. A day after, I had me pissed, but look at the egg. I love eggs now. I don't know why. I eat an egg quick. These people are like, what's she doing in her car? Eat you. This therapy thing I be going to, it's a little bit different than what I was doing when I was a child. Therapy I went to when I was a child was way different. It's like they turn off the light. Where they dim it. Make us sit down on the couch. When you got no couch, you never got a table. And really don't be talking about too much. Let's be up in there. But anyways, my kid's father. I thought about him. Last night, I said. Maybe he's trying to get custody of them kids, but. It's going to be hard to get custody. Especially when he's living at his girlfriend's house. <laughs> he married by law soon. By paper. I don't know how that marriage shit work. But I know for one thing. When I get these kids back. I ain't going to see his ass. He ain't going to come around but one or two times out of a week. He don't come around now. Unless he pick the, unless he pick the babies up and take them with him. Kira woke up last night. <clears throat> sit up on the bed out of nowhere acting real weird and I was like what's wrong she wouldn't say anything so I said just lay back down and then she just jumped up out of nowhere mom I miss my daddy I said oh my lord 
She's a daddy's girl now. <clears throat> she miss him. That's how I be. When they be going, I be missing them. I know he missed them. I'm going to let her call him later. But anyway. I'm just getting ready to head into this um, therapy section or whatever. This ain't no long video. This is short. Drinking my coffee, eating my biscuit in my head. I can't forget that on chips and gum before I get home because she asked for last night. Mommy got some chips. Mommy got some gum. Mommy got some chips. I'll be her chips and gum. I love my kids now. But in March, I'm cutting back, y'all. Y'all ain't gonna see me but one or two times. Not 19 and 20 times like I always be doing. I always be getting up here, making all these videos to try to get these views. And look at that, that, um, the studio. Shit, you don't get much. You don't get that much money just to post videos. That's crazy. You gotta have them views. But anyways, I'm gonna see y'all later. I'm gonna get off this camera. You wanna get me something else to drink? Like a Coke or something? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drink the Coke later, not right now. I don't drink coffee, it's too much caffeine. And, um, people going crazy in the comments about some goddamn washing powder that I was talking about yesterday. It's food. They crazy, bruh. I'm a grown ass woman. Slavery day been over for me. I got my dad and gone, bruh. It's all about the princess and all. Like, it's just a fucking princess that you make a door to take. What's, what's the difference? Somebody else do it. You know what? Like, like they said in that song. It's a problem when I do it. But it ain't a problem when they do it. It's always like that. People always not seeing... You're not trying to just get views. You out here just, you know, letting the world see you. My daughter ain't out here just laying up, making babies, or doing nothing. She's doing what she's supposed to do, doing her business, focusing on her school. You know, she wants better for herself. She's not trying to go out here and have no baby. We just did a test because she made me do a test. At the end of the day, what I do on my channel is what I do on my channel. I mean, I simply tell people if you don't like what I post, you don't have to watch the contest. You don't have to watch it at all. I'm just one of the realers out here, yo. I have nothing to hide. I guess I keep this in my breast because I don't want to lose it. And this is a inhaler. It's good for the nose. I hope in this therapy section ain't nothing really he gonna be talking about. Just dumb shit. Like, for real. Anyways, I do whatever I can to get these kids back. But like I said, I don't understand. Everything was all unprofessional and it just don't make sense. And then they just throw the babies back on me out of nowhere. And then the case worker that was on the case the first time, she didn't want to see what nobody got to say. When I look at that damn letter and read it, I was like, what the fuck is forensic? Like, what are y'all talking about? Like, medical neglect and physical neglect? Get the fuck out of here and kiss my ass. The fuck wrong with these motherfuckers? They tripping. That should be pissing me off every time I think about it because it's just stupid dumb. Like, I mean, y'all ain't even get a lot Isaiah in school. So how, how the hell y'all ain't? Get Isaiah in school, but y'all talk all that cash money shit about Elijah being in school and Isaiah. But Isaiah ass ain't even in school. Isaiah, you know, with me all the time. So what they got to say about that shit? DSS ain't put Isaiah in school. So what DSS got to say about that? Nothing, cause they feel like they DSS. That shit be pissing me off. I look at Isaiah every day, like damn. They say one of y'all in school, but they got a lodge in school, but it's school neglect. So it, ain't, it couldn't have been school neglect if Isaiah not in school. And I try to get him in school and Elijah in school, and the lady say Elijah wasn't old enough when we first moved. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things people go through in their life that people don't understand. Like, DSS feel like they got the authority to do whatever they want to do because they feel like they in a DSS building. You still got a life outside of that motherfucker. You still got a life outside that bitch you got to live. I know people out here got kids as well. You know, they, they can't listen to what people got to say. They just want to go on what they want to go on and paperwork and all that shit. Man, fuck that paperwork, dog. For real, I'm my mama, son. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. 
That shit is ridiculous. Every time I think about it, I look at my kids every day, like, where the fuck is my big kids? Why y'all separating my kids and not bringing all of them home at one time? Everything's so fucking unprofessional. Nobody want to listen from the beginning. I let everybody in my house when they came out there, every time they come out there. This lady one time, y'all ran to my house like she was stupid, bro. She like she was out of breath when she came. She said, like, oh, the case worker off the case. I'm on the case uh, for her today. Somebody told us sex going on in the house. I'm like, what? Yo, we just woke the fuck up, bro. You come to my house and some fucking sex on the fucking internet. Who would do some shit like that with a child? You got some people's minds is fucked up. They need to grow up, for real. They literally need to grow up. All the things I've been through in my life, my kids will never go through what I've been through. My kids got everything they ever wanted. And they spoil as hell and they don't want to do shit. But at the end of the day, when you go out here and put your life out here on social media, what do you suspect people to do? Everybody supposed to love you? Everybody supposed to uh, not hate you? You got some people that love you, you got some people that hate you, but at the end of the day, it's like the CPS work on that fucking paper, dog. She was just, when I read that paper, it just made me mad. She on TikTok and on uh, YouTube all the time. I gotta make my fucking money. Y'all ain't gonna pay my fucking bills. Y'all ain't gonna pay my bills. I'm not on Section A. I'm not on House. I'm not on none of that shit. I'm out here working hard to do what I gotta do to make sure me and my kids got a roof over our motherfucking head. You know what I'm saying? But what YouTube and TikTok gotta do with a case, an investigation, you ain't had nothing else to find? But medical and school neglect, find something else on a, on a mother besides school neglect and medical. And medical, it wasn't no fucking medical, period. If it was fucking that serious, they would have had me take him to the burn treatment that night he came to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even that fucking serious, bro. Then when they go with their daddy, it's nothing to be said. They don't go out there for a week to check on the kids. I goddamn don't know what the allegations are, what, what the allegations were until I see my mama paper. I didn't know what was going on. Nobody wasn't telling Nika shit. Everybody was keeping me out in the dark until I saw that paper and I went to flip fuck off. And she gonna tell me old roaches. Girl, get the fuck out of here. Tell about some damn roaches. Like, you ain't never had roaches before. That be the ones that you be wanna cuss the fuck out. But since you got a case, you don't be wanna talk to nobody. You just be like, fuck them shit. They take one thing and go in the, in the other ear and just be like, oh, well, I gotta do this investigation first. Da, 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 da. It'll take about a month and then lie about that. It'll take about a month. It took y'all motherfuckers five, five to six months to get these kids back home. Like, the case her on the case now, I like her. I got mad respect for her. You know what I'm saying? She's doing what she gotta do with these motherfuckers before. I don't even know, man. And when a motherfucker call Nika crazy, I'm going to show your ass crazy. I'm going to show you crazy, bro. That's one thing about that grant blood. You don't fuck around and call nobody fucking crazy. I say some shit out your mouth disrespectful like that. And you say it out loud like you don't give a fuck. It's because you're a case worker on me and you still get your ass cussed the fuck out like anybody else can. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'll be like, you know what? These motherfuckers think they run me. They don't run me. They don't run shit over here. Like I said. Like, y'all, I had to call this lady one day on the phone, like, damn, what is going on? Well, they got to do a forensic. What the fuck is a forensic? Y'all asking them fucking questions that they don't, might not understand. The big ones understand what's going on. Ain't no man in my house. And I dance don't touch my kids inappropriate. So, I don't know what the fuck they got going on. I just had a lot on my head going. My head just going on and on and on. Because when this shit closed, well, these motherfuckers are my life. Shit, I don't want them back in my life. Shit, it's good they involved now. Because... I mean, it's keeping shit together around here. But like I said, when I go live on TikTok, Instagram, or whatever I go live on, it's, you know, it's what I do for, you know, entertainment. Like, with my life, I love, you know, doing things, you know, with the internet. I like showing the world what I do. You know what I'm saying? i always been like that. I always get my recorder and record myself. When I was young, I was saying I would do all kind of things. I know I play around with my voice every now and then like that too on TikTok, but sometimes I'll be singing for real. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, what God got in store for me and my children, he got in store. And what the blessings that are coming through, that are going to continue on coming through, it's up to God. I'm not going to sit up here and keep dwelling on 2022, but when pain is pain, pain is pain. When it hurts, it hurts. And you know, when people don't listen to what you have to say, you know, during the time the CPS case was going on, it still makes you feel like, Low, low as a parent because of the fact that they're gonna you trying to do everything you can to get your kids back. You trying to figure out what's going on. And nobody telling you nothing. They leaving you out in the cold. They not telling you what the, what everything is going on or you know with the kids or whatever. And you got to figure out what's going on. So at the end of the day, we're gonna be back together as one. I'm not worried about anything. I ain't gonna worry. I'm just gonna give it to God. Don't y'all forget to like, comment, subscribe, watch those ads, and skip those ads, and bump those ads. I always say that most of the time and don't have ads in my videos. Oh, well, fuck it. If you skip it, if you do it, you don't. I know y'all. some of y'all love watching me. I'm going to see y'all later. I'm about to go ahead to head up to this uh, therapy or whatever. I sat down for a moment just to get everything off my chest because these people just don't understand. Pain from a real mother. I don't, I don't understand. Like, when you get kids taken away from you, when you love your kids to death, do you part? It's like a marriage. and you know? It's a commitment out of statement. It shit hurts. But anyway, see y'all guys later. Peace to the millies.